Good morning, St. Simon and Jude. Coach Keebler here. Um, we're going to do a little workout today. I had one of our students email me and say, Coach Keebler, I really want to get my splits. So here we go. Now I'm going to tell you I do not have my splits at this point in my life, but I'm going to teach you some stretches that you can do to get yourself there. So if you didn't know, flexibility is one of the five components of fitness. Um, the first being cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, oh, there we go. Muscular strength, flexibility, and body composition. So it is really important for us to work on our flexibility. And again, we have some time to increase our flexibility. You are the most flexible, believe it or not, under the age of 12. So most of you have a great opportunity to become, uh, to get this, to get the splits. We're gonna start off in a butterfly. I'm gonna give you six, six different stretches that you can do to increase your flexibility. As you're doing these, you really wanna hold your stretch and you don't wanna bounce, okay? So we don't wanna bounce as we're doing this because that can actually cause some muscle tearing. When you're in your butterfly and you become more flexible and your muscles start to loosen, you can push, push your legs down, opening up your hips. Depending whether you want your front, um, your front splits or your middle splits, you can change these stretches. But another one we can do is the straddle. As you're doing your straddle, legs out in a V. Again, probably as far as you can go. Coach is not that flexible in that way. And then reaching to the center and holding it. You want to hold it until you want to feel the stretch, but you don't want it to be painful. It shouldn't hurt, but you should feel some stretching. Okay, that's your muscles. And every day, you do this every day, you're going to become more and more flexible. If you did this, I think actually everything that I read said 15 times, 15 minutes a day, twice a day on all of these poses, if not three times. This is a great way to sit and do your homework. Read a book. Okay, another one we're gonna do is, let me think, this one. We're gonna try to really Stretch your hip flexors. And try to really get down into that position. This is gonna help your flexibility. You wanna go ahead and do both sides. And kind of lean in to that stretch. Another one that you can do is holding your leg, pulling your leg toward you. Feel the stretch. I'm not holding these for long enough. I would want you to hold these for longer, but it makes for a boring video. And again, coach knee, my knee isn't straightened because I'm not quite that flexible. Good. So another one that I saw had a, um, it had a pillow in front of you, which I don't necessarily need this pillow, but the pillow was meant to get yourself down into the splits even further. So if you need a further stretch, you can do this, which I clearly don't, but a further stretch than this. If you 
want to get into the middle splits, you can, um, I can't even do the middle splits, but you really want to focus on this one um, into the middle to help you. Now, now that we've talked about some splits positions, you can practice those. Let's get a couple more um, balance or coordination, flexibility things that we can do. So we always like to do the tree. So we try to balance, focusing on something that is not moving. You need to put your hands above your head. The lower your foot, the easier it is, and the higher your foot, the harder. You want to practice this on both sides, trying to maintain your balance, looking at one thing. Great job. Another great one for your back I was just thinking of. You want to get onto your belly and lift. Ooh, really lose that flexibility when you're my age, so keep it now. 12 and younger is supposed to be the most flexible you're gonna be. That'll give you a nice stretch on your back or your abdominal muscles. Um, let's flip around to do a candlestick. This one's always fun. This is, we kind of talked about this yesterday, doing something that's upside down, laying on your back, feet up, and hold your hips. Try to get as straight as you can. Good, we've done that before. We've also talked about getting your legs up, and then you can try to touch your toes behind your head. Again, working on our flexibility and balance. Um, let's see, one other one that we can do would be kind of fun. I'm not very good at headstands, but a headstand is something that you can practice. In my house, it's all tiles, so I put down this mat. Um, but a tripod can push into a headstand. You really need to be strong enough to hold your body. Okay, that's the most important thing. And you need to treat your body with care and keep it controlled, not just flopping around. So this is the tripod that I mentioned. You want your elbows up, knees on your elbows, balancing, and then you can try to push up to a headstand. I don't like doing that because it hurts my head. I don't know if your head gets more sensitive as you get older, but I think it might. Another great thing you can work on is a handstand. So you really have to have the upper body strength to hold your body weight. If you cannot do that, this is not a safe activity. I like to do it against a wall because I'm not, well, this is a, this is a door. I'm not as stable as I used to be doing it standing on my own. But you wanna put your hands down against the wall. Typically, I will spot you and hold your legs as you kick up. But you have to be strong enough to hold your body right here or else it's not gonna work. Once you can get it on the wall, then you can start trying to control your body a little bit more. You've got to really work on your core to do a handstand in place. Very hard to hold. I have some friends who can walk like this. I know a boy in sixth grade who can do it quite well. And then you can try to walk on your hands. I'm not to that point yet. Anywho, I hope you guys have a really great day. I hope you work on your flexibility today. And if you do this every day, I think you're gonna have the splits by the time we go back to school. All right, thanks St. Simon and Jude. Have a great day today.